Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here again, and I wanted to talk about this very unique knife. I actually just, oh my goodness, brain fart, but I just forgot the name of this knife. I will be sure to put it in the title. But this knife, I wanted to talk about why this one was unique, because it's one-handed Victorinox knife. But not only is it one-handed, it is a plain-edged Victorinox knife. This knife is actually, as far as I've checked and I've called Victorinox, they have told me that they have discontinued this model. You can find it out there, but people are asking crazy money for it because of that straight cutting edge. Now it's actually half serrated in the front and then straight cutting edge in the back. What's so great about that though is you can do your push cuts and then you can cut into fibrous materials with that end. But this is going to be much easier to use and sharpen up in the field. Great thing is it's a lock. It's got a liner lock in it but it prefers less lefties. So uh, I'm, I'm right-handed so it's it's a little bit of a chore to get that closed. I usually use two hands to do it but it's great to have a locking blade. What else locks on this knife is something that I really enjoy using at work and that's the large flathead screwdriver. That's your cap lifter as well and wire stripper but you have a liner lock on that. I think that's spectacular, especially in what I use that tool for. Then, of course, you have your can opener. Now, you'll notice this can opener looks a little different compared to most. That's because I've modified it to be a cord or line cutter. So sometimes I'll go fishing and I'll throw this in my pocket and um, I will use that to cut my line. So it's not a big cumbersome blade. Um, sometimes you're on slippery rocks and sometimes you're in a rough bit of water and you do not want a nice big sharp blade just poking out. So I thought, well, make this a cutting blade here so I can just do a nice pull cut, cut some line, and I don't have a big blade sticking out except this little piece here. But I don't usually keep that too sharp anyways. So that explains that little modification I did there. Also on this knife... You get the saw. This is a wonderful saw. I have never had a saw that's better than the Victorinox saws. The, the This saw blade cuts, cuts, cuts all day long. It loves eating up wood, limbs, big logs. If you need to make a little section cut out into a log, you can do that. On the back, you have your reamer. Now, for some reason, they didn't put the hole punch there, and I would think on a heavy-duty knife kind of like this, you would want that hole there for the punch to maybe sew up some leather, canvas, whatever you might have out in the bush. I don't know why they didn't do that. It makes no sense to me, but that's what they ended up doing. And then the other tool that I need to have on my Victoria Knox knives is a wine opener. Very useful tool, great for cleaning out under your shoes if you didn't want to use your blades or anything like that. Cleaning your shoes, getting in between some of those grooves. You can also clean under your nails. You can use this to clean in, um, well, no, well, you can use it to clean in other areas that might be a little tighter because you've got that nice point. You can use it as a scraper. I've used it to scrape a small hole into something or or um, carefully mark on something and you don't want to mess up a blade for that very useful very useful indeed untying shoelaces that's the common use I've seen people use this for but I've also used this to carry things I will wrap this around it and tie a knot or whatever and, and I've used it as a parcel hook um, you can actually, and I've done this before with this knife, I loop whatever I'm carrying in this and then I carry it like that so you've got a good handle there. I have done that there and I've used this end for that too. But this is just a wonderful knife. I'm sad to see that they have discontinued um, this, this nice long blade there with the plain edge. 
uh, unfortunate. I actually have two of these. Uh, I keep one in its box. I haven't even opened it just for, I guess, history's sake. Maybe if I lose this one in a river, I've got another one. That would really be a shame. But I do have another one of these because they've discontinued it. And I think maybe it might be... It, it might be worth some money in the future. I don't know. I'm a little dubious, but hey. Again, thank you so much for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. And I think if you can get this, grab it. It's a wonderful knife to have in the collection and a wonderful knife to use. Really, really effective blade. If you're interested in getting one of these, it's going to be a little tough since they've discontinued it, but it's definitely worth the hunt if you don't want to put up with that serrated edge. If you don't mind putting up with that serrated edge, they make it even now with the serrated and then the plane in the back. Of course, I forgot the name of this um, knife, and I will be putting that in the title. So that will be remedied by the title of this video. So hope you enjoyed seeing this knife and me talking about it. And if you think the modifications I made to this knife are useful, let me know in the comments. Or if you think this knife is just complete garbage, you can say that too. Everybody's got an opinion. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, like and subscribe. At this point, I'm just rambling on. So I will cut the video off and spare you. Thank you.